continue to the discussion meditation course no? so let's one day ago we teach us how to meditation hmm? Now this is a let's see again. So so satowa asasati satowa pasasati. So satowa asasati. He mindfully breathes in. So your mind wait around the area. This is your breath and breath. Breathing in. Just here, you start. You don't follow to the inside the body. So the doa pasa pasa sati. He mindfully breathes out. This is your breath. Breathe out. You start here. Don't follow outside the body. Uh, the breath. So you practice this way all the time, mindfully. We need to anti nibbana. We need to the mindfulness. You don't pay attention to the inside and nose. Don't pay too much attention to the skin or touching white. You pay attention too much to the skin around the area, become numb or cold or cohesion or tightness. You pay attention inside the nose, also your nose is become tight. You don't bite your teeth too much, especially for the Western teeth. Sometimes you need to more effort. You need to quickly the concentration. You can, you bite too much the teeth. So begin hardness is stronger, and then your pace. Also, you don't pay attention. You don't use your eyes to pay attention to the breath or nimitta. Only train the mind. No body action, only mental action. So, when you breathe in law, you understand. I breathe, breathe in law. The long breath is the sometimes your breath slowly breathe in, slowly breathe out. This is what we call long breath. Long breath. You don't purposely do the long or short. Breathing in slowly, slowly go in. This is we call long breath. Breathing out. When you breathe out long, you understand. I breathe out long. Also slowly. Go out the breath. Sometimes long breath is uh, in breath is long, short, uh, out breath is short. That time your body is something like this. Behind. Sometimes in breath is short, long breath is uh, out breath is long. Your body like. So much balance is better. When you breathe in short, you understand I breathe in short. Short is a mean, very quick. Now you see, you are very, very quick, quick, huh? So very fast, go in the nose. That's what we call short breath. When you breathe, out short, you understand. I breathe out short. 
also quickly. Sometimes you go climb up to the mountain, so your breath is a very fast. Breathe in, breathe out. They say we can say the short breath. You don't purposely do the long or short. Naturally, no merit. With mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. Buddha teaches in the Mahasrivirana Sutta very easy. Mindfully breathe in, mindfully breathe out. By many yogis, you make many ways. You use many ways. That means your concentration not improved. Like this or like that. <laughs> Some yogi say the breath is coming from here. <laughs> Surely the breath is from here. <laughs> this is you play. So experiencing the whole breath body. And share, breathe in. That's you train. Whole breath, whole breath meaning breathe, studying, you breathe, you knowing all focusing, focusing, and here. This is what we call whole breath. Uh, some they call studying, media, and. Some teacher teaching studying from here, media is, middle is the, in the chest, the, in the, uh, the chest. After that, here, studying, here, it's a media, here is an end. Not like this. Only here, you see the slideshow. Studying, you breathe slowly, uh, all focus in, in here. This is what we call whole breath. You know it all, the whole breath. The time your mind cannot go out because of all you focus the breath. The mind while going out, studying, breathing, only you count in ready, but your breath is not your fitness. Stay half. You wait into the out breath, not your coming. This, you have the gas, the time the mind going out, or take the another object. Our mind need to the object. Know this, you don't, you don't have to know uh, this object, is where take another object. The object is a past or future object. So breathing in already you end, but uh, prayer is not yet finished. Within the out breath, the out breath never come in. The time the mind what is focused is take another object. Experiencing the whole breath body and share breathe out. That's you train. Also say, if you are calmly aware of the breath from beginning to end for about an hour, you can focus your breath. And no nimeda abhiyas, at this stage all can be the nimeda. No nimeda abhiyas, you should move on to the first stage. And shall breathe in tranquilizing the body formation that he trains. And shall breathe out tranquilizing, tranquilizing, tranquilizing the body formation that he trains. To do this, you should decide to make the breath calm and be continuously aware of the breath from beginning to end. You should do nothing else. Otherwise, your concentration will break and fall away. The Wisodi Magad give Four factors for making the breath calm. Number one, concern. 
aboga. You pay any tears attention to the breath. You apprehend the breath. You adapt the mind towards the breath. Do the effort. I were trying to make the breath tranquil. Number two, reaction. Sama saman nahara. You continue to do so. That is, you pay sustained attention to the breath that way. Do it again and again. Keep the breath in the mind to the effort. I were trying to make the breath tranquil. Number three, attention. Manasikara. Literally deciding to make the breath tranquil. Attention is the main factor that makes the mind at birth towards the object. Attention makes the mind consciousness of the breath and know the breath. Number four, reviewing Pecha Wakana. You review the breath, make it clear to the mind, to the effort. I was trying to make the breath tranquil. So you all need to do at this stage is to decide to tranquil the breath and to be continuously aware of it. That way, you will find the breath becoming more tranquil or calmer than Nimeda may appear. Just before the Nimeda appears, a lot of yogis encounter difficulties. Mostly, they find that the breath becomes very settled and unclear. Now, there are many yogi lights because of already three uh, five days already. Huh? So the breath has become calm. So they find that the breath becomes very settled and unclear. They may think the breath has stopped. If this happens, you should keep your awareness on where you less notice the breath and wait for it to appear. You don't do purposely hurt again. You wait. When you last notice the breath, and wait for it to appear. Some yogi think their breath have stopped. I think no stop. Stay have. So only seven types saw bus and do not breath. Seven types of person do not breath. They are one a dead person, no breathing. Number two, a food test in the mother womb. They cannot breathe inside a lot of water. So number three, a drowned person under the water. He cannot breathe. Number four, an unconscious person. Number five, a person in the post jhana. You attain post jhana, your breath is stopped. Maybe you think I will time. <laughs> no breathing, how to bend it, uh, how to stay bend it. But uh, this is the energy. You attain post jhana, your breath is stopped. Your breath Breath is still half, you are fortunate, not stronger, not attain fortunate. Number six is a person in the attainment of the cessation, we call Niroda Samabhati. The Niroda Samabhati, the person 
can stay seven day directly he not breathe like only sitting because at that time his mind and the, the mind mind kalaba mind bone kalabas uh, stop mind my, uh, my deformations the mind bone kalaba or stop only that time the body have kamasa kamacha bone kalaba temperature bone kalaba and nutrient bone kalaba the three material only stay have your body seven day so after seven days you imagine from this uh, attainment of cessation nirada samabhati so you are already become hungry because seven days you never eat so see today i who i can support that day you can offer to hands you are kama tanak kama hosan kama very strong like the ponya ponya is a in the buddha time he is a very poor he walking i wonder rich around uh, the boss one out of the boss in the farm he uh, walking in the farm early morning venerable saribhadra he w- imagine from this nirada samabhati he see with the psychic power today who can i support for tana so he saw the ponya and wife so he using psychic power to the in the fund nearby him he came down to walk the ponya saw to him so he went to offer but nothing what he thinking more early morning so i will offer the two brush and the water for washing the face the two brush is very simple he going to cut the one or three the um he make it the two brush so he offer to the bande uh banarewa sari pota after that he very happy he offer this abda banare ba sari bodha ko see a cobra to the village at the time the ponya wise bring the food for the ponya he saw the bandi eh, he thinking oh before i went to offer no receiver sunday receiver have i not think to offer today i have that rice for the ponya also the receiver also in front of me i must offer for ponya after i'm going to cut for him i can print but so she offer to the banarewa sari pottera after that she go back to take the new food print to the ponya she thinking i'm told to my husband quickly because uh, he, he was hungry so become angry <laughs> hungry means uh, angry <laughs> so a little bit far away he saw he talked to the ponya my husband today you had happy because of i offered to the bandit you are fools that's why i little bit late go back to take so ponya is not anger he also very happy and so that's why i share to my merits to you so ponya also say oh same say you my wife i also today offer to the bandit the two brush and the water also i share to use my merits so they are very happy so at the time the at the sun all came to the cold go on very good many the swam uh, the at is a chain the cold so they afraid of too much cold 
they report to the, the king. The king came to take, put to the uh, bullet, charity. All go a chain to the act again. <laughs> so the bonya test to the, the act began go again. The king take again, began at, in the three times, so the thing, the king think, this is not my code. <laughs> this is the ponya code. So he keep to put to ponya, so keep to the rich people the name. This is uh, from Nirada Samabadi. So you find this person nowadays, <laughs> so you can become rich very fast. You are the karma is uh, can support. So now you, you see the seven basins. The only the seven types of the basins do not breathe. They are a dead basin, a foot in the mother womb, a drowned basin, an unconscious basin, a basin in the fourth jhana, a basin in the attainment of the succession, Niroda Samabadi. Number seven. A Brahma, Brahma also not breathe. Huh? You want to go the Brahma around, you must practice a jhana. <laughs> cannot jhana, cannot, the jhana is a support to the, uh, cannot reborn to the Brahma around. So you should reflect on the fact that you are not one of them. Is it true? You are this seven days of person? No. So, thus you are not one of them. You are actually breathing. It is just that your mindfulness is not strong enough for you to be aware of the breath. So sometimes the breath is a stop. You think, you think in this seven days of person, who is me, huh? nothing, so you have to stay breathing. Only my mindfulness is weak, that's why I cannot know the breath. So you need to move effort to try aware of the breath. So when it is subtle, uh, you should not make the breath more obvious. Just be aware of the breath as it is. If it is not clear, simply wait for it where you less notice it. This way the breath will reappear and Nimeta may also appear. The breath begins after you can focus this very small the breaths or subtle breaths with together the light appear with the breath. So now the many yogi in this state they cannot go up many pull down because of be, before you aware of the breath very hard easy to no now begin subtle you don't like so this needs, the state is a subtle breath state. Need to the more mindfulness. You have the more mindfulness enough, the mindfulness, you can see but very small the breath with together light. The breath is the light, the light is the breath. So we call this a really nimeta. So when you are nimeda fast abiyas, do not move your mind from the breath to the nimeda. If you do, you will find that it disappears. So here also same, tranquilizing the whole breath body slowly. You see also our breath also same. 
while I send the whole breath body, I shall breathe out. That's you train. Shape and color of nimeta is not important. There's a difference. <laughs> now many color, huh? uh, many light. Uh, sometimes here in front of your eyes also appear. So you don't pay attention to the light. Now here, so stability in the margin with their breath in is important. Stay, be in, be out. This light is transport to your nimeta. You're going to pay attention around the some lights. So the light is at this pier. You think that, oh, why my nimeta? You find cannot fight again because your mind already not come worry mind ready so the light that disappear don't worry go back to aware of the breath again so after a few minutes your mind become calm stable so the nimeta appear again Yeah, now I'm called Nimeta already. <laughs> so, when to pay attention to the Nimeta? The Nimeta appear only together with the breath. About the upper lip or nostril area. That is why when your concentration becomes deeper and deeper. When it becomes forms and stable, eventually the breath and the nimitta become one. When you are aware of the breath, you know the nimitta. When you know the nimitta, you are aware of the breath. The nimitta here, your breath is here. So you aware of the breath, you know the nimitta. You know the nimitta, you aware of the breath together. Your nimitta is different, your breath is different. They say we cannot say nimeta. Your light is different somewhere, your breath is here. Now you see, your nimeta or the, your light is here, breath is here. So you know the, you aware of the breath, you know the nimeta. You know the nimeta, you aware of the breath. This is we call really nimeta. Because of stay here, you breathe here. Sometimes the nimitta is changing from the, your breath. For beginner, not like the very bright. Some, like the smoke, uh, the air is changed to the smoke color. But you stay focus the breath. This is in breath, this is out breath. After that, begin changing the white color or bright. So you might focus there. This is uh, what it means when the breath in the nimitta become one. At this time, you should change your nimitta and you should change your meditation object from the breath to the nimitta. That time you can change focus to the nimitta. Here, only pay attention to the nimitta. In doing so, if the nimitta becomes shaky, shaky or disappears, you should 
go back to begin aware of the breath again. If the nimitta is stable, then you should continue to pay attention to the nimitta continuously for a long time. The nimittas. The nimitta of anabanasati varies according to the individuals. To some, the nimittas is pure and fine like cotton wood. Nimitta desire, many, many desire, or drown out cotton moving air or a draft. A bright light like the morning star Venus. So in Singapore cannot see the morning star. Maybe here I can see early morning. Uh, maybe with duration. The sub duration so you can see very big, also very bright, the star we call Venus. A bright ruby or gem, or a bright pearl. To others, it is like the stem of the cotton plant, or a sharpened piece of wood. To yes, others, it is like a long, Rope, rope or string, a wreath of flowers, a bus, a buff of smoke, a stretch of a stretch of a spider web, a plum of mist, a lotus, a charity, uh, a charity of weed a moon or a sun. The Buddha Nimitta is like sun, very, very bright. So this is all Nimitta, not only the one, but uh, usually you say, we say that, uh, like the cotton wood or morning stars, The state of Nimitta. In most cases, a pure waste Nimitta like cotton wood is the Ogaha Nimitta. Taking up sign or learning sign. So some yogi, their parami is very weak. So studying Prikama Nimitta, Oga Nimitta, Pribhaga Nimitta, some yogi, they have parami very strong, so directly bright the light. So the nimitta light the gray color or smoke. This is what we call parikama nimitta. The sign of concentration. After that, you can focus this begin chain to the white like cotton wool, we call Ogaha Nimeta, the learning sign, taking up sign or learning sign. So you can focus there again, one hour or one half hour, chain to the bright, but the baga, Nimitta, the counterpart sign. So also you focus to the Nimitta. You don't go back to Embra Abra at this state. You only pay attention to the Nimitta or aware of the Nimitta. So your concentration deeper and deeper change to the your Nimitta is like morning star. They are very fast, huh? <laughs> so already you got the pre animator.
So on most uh, cases, the uh, pure white uh, nimeda like cotton wood, it is called ogaha nimeda, taking up sign or lanin sign. And it's usually dull and opaque. When the nimeda becomes bright like the morning star, very brilliant and clear. It is the body baga nimeda counterpart sign. When it is like a doll, ruby, or gem, it is the ogaha nimeda. But when bright and sparkling, it is the body baga nimeda. The other image should be understood in this way too. The nimeda is a, their shape come to your face. Sometimes very strong, the nimeda. Some yogi began, the eye is a pain or the began tear. But at the time, you don't, pay, you don't use to wash to the nimeda from eye. Only you focus with the mind, like stay here. So you are, I is not so pain. So even thought anabanasti is a, a single meditation subject. It produces various types of nimeta. The nimeta appears differently to different yogis. Not all are saying. Well, uh, before I talked already, there are many nimeta designers. But uh, wherever the shape or color or your nimeta, wherever your perception or the in and out breath, it is important not to play with your nimeta. Do not let it go away. And do not immediately change its shape or appearance. If you do, your concentration will not develop any further and your progress will stop. Also, your nimeda will probably disappear. So when your nimeda first appears, do not move your mind from the breath to the nimeda. Attaining excess concentration and absorption concentration. If you find that the nimeda is stable and your mind by itself has become fixed on it, then just leave your mind there. If you force your mind to go away from it, you will probably lose your concentration. If your nimeda appears far away, ignore it, it as it will probably disappear. If you ignore it, it and simply concentrate on the breath above the upper lip or nostril area. The nimeda will come and stay there. If your nimeda becomes stable, it appears as the breath itself, that is the breath as the nimeda. Then forget about the breath and just be aware of the nimeda. By moving your mind from the breath to the nimeda, you will be able to make further progress. As you keep your mind on the nimeda, and when it is white like cotton wool, it is the ogaha nimeda taking up sign or learning sign. You should determine to keep your mind calmly concentrated on the white 
Ogaha Nimeda for one, two, three hours or more. For one day. Can you? <laughs> Here you can focus to the Nimeda. Oga Nimeda for one, two, three hours or more. If you can keep your mind fixed on the Oga Nimeda for one or two hours, it should become clear, bright, and variant. This is now the Pari Bhaga Nimeda counterbar sign. Determined in practice to keep your mind on the Bribhaga Nimeda for one, two, or three hours. Practice empty, you succeed. At this stage, you will reach either Upachara, Asap's concentration, or absorption concentration. It is called Asap's concentration because it is close to the close to in Pasit Chana. Absorption concentration is Chana. Very deep concentration. Both types of concentration, Asap and absorption have the Bari Bhaga Nimeda as their object. The only difference between them is that in Asap's concentration, the jhana factors are not fully developed. That is why Bawengas still occur. And one can fall into Bawenga, life continuum consciousness. The yogi will say the very thing has stopped. He may even think it is nibbana. Some yogi, they go into fall asleep. We call the bowing up mind. They don't know nothing because they're sleeping very well. At the time they say, Bandi, I'm sitting two hours. I don't know nothing. <laughs> so he came to say, I see a day neighbor now. <laughs> but nothing to see is only two percent. One is Nidara Samabhati. One is the the Boeing mind. So you charge yourself. I am Nirada Sama, under Nirada Samabadi or not? You think, yes. So you charge, I am an Anakami or Arahant. <laughs> because of Nirada Samabadi, it can practice in eh? Anakami, one unknown written in eh? Arahant. The two person can practice it. Eh? But this Anakami and eh? Arahant, they don't, never practice in. Eh? Ten types of casino, MD, HANA. They also cannot practice Nirada Samabadi. So you think, oh, I'm not Anagami, no Arahan, I'm not staying in there, Nirada Samabadi. Can see what is a slip in. <laughs> so slip in, the mind is I cannot know any, uh, any other object. The sleeping mind we call Bawenga mind. Bawenga mind, its object is the first light near the consciousness, the object. So you don't know. You, uh, when you can know, you practice in mental state at the time you know. So that's why San Yogi, they say, Pandi, nothing, I don't know anything. Yes, because I'm sleeping very well. <laughs> so you have that fortuna. Your object is the nimeda. You attain 
the fruition knowledge, plus some body. Also, your object is the neighbor now. You know the neighbor now object. So it's not not the end. In reality, the mind has not stopped, but the yogi is just not mindful enough to discern this, as the Bawengas are very subtle. So always you go into the Bawenga mind, you become a habit. They say you cannot go to attain jhana. So you pay attention very easy to focus the nimitta. You only follow, you not make the effort. Follow, 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 and then slowly disappear the object. Nothing to know. And you think, after the bell, ding, so you wake up. Wow, the time very fast, huh? <laughs> because of the sleeping very well, you don't know anything, huh? So you think, as you report to the teacher, my teacher, this thing, huh? I don't know anything. <laughs> so like this, huh? So check in for Bawenga. Immediately after your mind stay continuously concentrate on the Pribhaka Nimitta for two or three hours. You should try to descend the area in the heart where the Bawenga consciousness rests. That is the heart base, Hadiya Wotu. Where is the heart base? It is saturated at the area around the physical heart area. Just pay attention to that area for three to four seconds. Not so many long time. Huh? You check only three, four seconds only. Not more than five seconds. Because of you stay long time, your mind is still long to the nimitta. Just imagine from that's urgently you touch the bawenga. In your mind, the nimitta is not yet disappear. Between the four or five seconds. After that, you take a many objects ready. So the nimitta disappear. You cannot find. For example, who run, uh, runner, he runs very fast. He wants to stop, cannot stop urging. Matter one step, two step, he, he follows. In the same way, our nimitta in the mind, stay in the mind to the nimitta long time, two hours, three hours. Urging it, you stop, chap to the pawinga, the nimitta no yet disappear, stay half. After a few seconds, disappear. That's why you don't need to just a long time. Only four or five uh, seconds. You should not pay attention to that area for too long as you might feel uncomfortable. You see it's too long, you have become uncomfortable. Sometimes you see that your heart, the pounds very fast, are very, uh, you're going to forget too much inside the heart. You can see the breath. Sometimes you're afraid. You're scared. Some, uh, one yogi, he taught me. He focused here. After that, slowly the mind comes. He got the, already the nimitta. This side, all the breath is gone, the skin gone. He can saw the bones all go to move to the heart. The heart is pointing, he see very clearly, so he's scared. So also Nimeda gone. <laughs> he saw that that is his heart, heart. very clear, panning. He think that he wrong, yes, wrong, because he followed to the mind, to the bowing heart, or to the heart area too. That he saw clearly. That's who has the uh, 
four channels, a day in four channels. After that, we teach in the 32 but the body can see clearly. Uh, you can scan whole body. <laughs> no need to go into chat <laughs> with the down down. What is the, uh, you should not pay attention to that area for too long as you m might feel uncomfortable. The Bawenga consciousness is bright and luminous. You might see Bawenga in the Paribaga Nimeda inside the Bawenga. So, here you see. First, you only tap to the descending Bawenga mind door, we call mind door. So, you focus to the Nimeda at least one half hour or three hours. Just you imagine from it, urgently your attention here, around the area. First, you can find the Bawenga. The Bawenga is uh, not so bright. So sometimes that I find together with the Nimeda. Only you touch, urgently you attention there, you find or not, no problem. You cannot find, next time you try again. Three sitting, three or four sittings, you can see the Nimeda in Bawenga. This is called checking for Bawenga in Nimeda. You will know that Bawenga is when you descend it for yourself. If you can see, it is good. If you cannot see, you should try again at the next sitting until you are successful. successful. Attaining the Fajana. Ah, very fast, huh? Now come to the Fajana. Descending five Jana Fajas. After you are able to check the Bawenga in Nimeda successfully at the heart base, you should proceed to trying to check for five Jana Fajas. The five jhana factor as a prime thought with the car. Descending and placing the mind on the body bhaka nimeta. Number two, sustain top with chara. Maintaining the mind on the body bhaka nimeta. Number three, join. PT, licking for the Paribhaga Nimeta. Number four, please, Sukha, happiness about the Paribhaga Nimeta. Number five, one pointness, Ekakata. Maybe this is wrong, two, two G, huh? Ekakata. One whiteness of mind on the body bhaka nimeta. How do we descend the five jhana factors? You should determine to let the mind pay attention to the body bhaka nimeta continuously for one hour. After that, you should pay attention at the heart base to check if there is a prime thought with Dhaka. If you are successful, you should try to sit again and check for sustained thought with Chara. In the next sitting, you should repeat the checking for each Jana factor until you finish descending all five Jana factors one by one. 
then you should try to discern all five Janavadas at one time. So a blind dog, what is a blind dog? You can know by your direct knowledge. What is a strange dog? What is a joy? What is breeze? What is one point net? You can know by your direct knowledge. So first, you determine before sitting, I can focus to the Paribhaga Nimeja or Chana at least one hour. This one hour finish, you chat your habits. You can see together Pawenga in the Nimeja. At the time, you chat a prime thought. Your mind is always put to the Nimeja. You can see the applying thought, substrain thought. Also, what is the try? So first you know the applying thought. So go back to see again the Nimeja. After 20 minutes, check again, substrain thought. You see, you know it's OK. You don't know, you don't see, try again, that's strange thought. Go back to see Nimeta. You cannot disappear the Nimeta. So you focus to the Nimeta again, at least 20 minutes. Imagine from it, check in the Bowinga, what is the trying? So you see the Nimeta, your mind began trying happiness. So you know, go back to again the Nimeja. You have time, you continue. You are not, no time, next sitting. You try to see the sukha, please, or one pointiness. So you will understand. So the jhana are together called jhana. When you are just beginning to practice jhana, you should practice Andaran jhana for a long time and not spend too much time discerning the jhana factor. You don't have many time to do the jhana factor. You stay discerning long time to the jhana. To the jhana means it's a focus in the, to the nimeta long time. You should repeat the checking, oh, sorry. After you are successfully in checking the five jhana factors, you should try to develop mastery, mastery, which is power of the jhana. The five mastery. There are five mastery. Number one, advertence mastery. Our jhana was bawa. To be able to easily adapt to the jhana fata where and when you wish. Number two, attainment mastery. Sama pachana wasi bawa. To be able to easily attain jhana where and when you wish. Number three, determination mastery. Adetana wasi bhava. To be able to easily maintain your jhana well and when, uh, well, when and for as long as you wish. One, two, or three hours, etc. According to the determined time. Number four, Imagine mastery. Wotana wasi power. To be able to easily emerge from China well and when you wish. Number fifth. Reflection mastery. Pacha wakana wasi power. To be able to easily reflect on the China factors. 
well and when you wish. In practice, this is the same as the first mastery. Advanced mastery. They both occur in the same mind process. So number one and number fit is uh, sometimes you cannot, uh, you can tap to mentality stage. So clearly, the three you must practice. You not practice in this mastery, you go up to second jhana, you are jhana if fall down. You cannot go up to the higher jhana, you cannot repeat again first jhana. Very difficult because you not practice in mastery. Some yogi, they went to quickly go into the fourth jhana. They never practice in mastery. They go very fast. After fourth jhana, they cannot go back to practice first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, also fourth jhana disappear. So very difficult to practice. That's why you need to uh, practice a mastery. There's a foundation. Your foundation is very good. You build the building. Your foundation not so strong. A uh, two-story, three-story, four-story. After that, four downs. So in the same way, we need to the first jhana is a little bit long. Need to three days, four days. You have times. So. You have experienced the five mastery or three mastery, uh, Adetana Vesibhava, determined Hotana Vesibhava, imagine from this jhana. The Mabisana Vesibhava, the three you must practice. So after you have mastery, you can go to the second jhana. This is not the association for us to explain how you progress from one jhana to the next. But uh, we can say that the no, if one has attained a higher jhana, one needs in all ceases to descend the jhana factors. In end, the Pali text, the Buddha says, one should not try going to a higher jhana without first development these five mastery. As one tries to go to second jhana without mastering first jhana, one might lose all the jhanas. So attaining the second jhana. You need to enter the now familiar first jhana. Imagine from it, reflection that the first jhana is close to the five hindrances. In has the close jhana factors of applying and sustained thought, making it less come than the second jhana, which is without them. So with no desire now for those two jhana fathers, a desire for only joy, happiness, and warm whiteness. You should again concentrate on the Paribhaga Nimeda and attain the first jhana. When you know image from the first jhana, and again, review the jhana fatta with mindfulness and full awareness. The two jhana fatta of applying thought and sustained thought will appear close to you. While joy, happiness, and please, and one whiteness appear peaceful. So in order to abandon the clothes of factors and obtain the peaceful factors, you should again concentrate on the Paribhaga Nimeta. 
This way you will be able to attain the second jhana. Proceed of only those uh, three factors, joy, bliss, and one whiteness. You should then develop the five mastery of the second jhana. Also, second jhana, you must practice in five mastery. So how to go the second jhana? You practice in first jhana, empty, one hour. Imagine from it, the first jhana is very close to the five hindrances. Any time can go back to the, the five hindrances. Sancho Tessanya, Ewell, Slow in Toba, Restlands in Remorse, and uh, Taupt. Any time can go, go back. Also, the joy and bliss, one point, one pointness are very good. So you see again the to the nimitta. After that, twenty minutes, you check in the pawinga. You can know the apparent thoughts, sustained thoughts are very hard. The three joint bliss one point are very soft. So you need second jhana, focus again to the nimitta, long time. Just you start, imagine from this jhana, you just to the bowing guard. Your jhana is only, uh, your jhana fata is only three. They are joints, bliss, one whiteness. So you attain. Second jhana, ready. So you practice in five months study with the second jhana. After that, you go into that jhana. Attaining the that jhana. When you have succeeded in when to develop the that jhana, you should imagine from the now familiar second jhana. Reflect that the second jhana is close to the first jhana, which has the close jhana fatya or upright door and sustained door. And the second jhana itself has the close jhana fatya or joy, making it less calm than the third jhana, which is without it. So with no desire now for that close fatya, a desire for only the peaceful factors. You should again concentrate on that, on the Paribhaga Nimitta and attain the second jhana. When you now imagine from the second jhana and again review the jhana factor, the jhana factor of joy will appear close to you. Why bliss in one brightness? appear peaceful. So in order to abandon the gross factor and obtain the peaceful factors, uh, you should again concentrate on the Paribhaga Nimitta. This way you will be able to attain the third jhana, process of only happiness and one pointness. You should then develop the five mastery of the tachana. Also tachana, you need to five mastery. The tachana is logia maintain a very, uh, how to say, very rich. So some yogi in part, they attain the tachana, sometimes they cry. Why they cry? Very happiness. Before they never find this feeling. In the war, this is very, very rich. So Buddha say, some Sautanda, that that jhana is in the Lokya Mante, this is very rich or very brief state. Some yogis, they don't like to 
continue the food channel. They want to stay long time. We say, cannot, this is also not so strong. Any time can uh, drop to the second jana or first jana. Any time can. So we had, after that, many, many states we need to practice it. But quickly go up. <laughs> so and uh, to the fourth jhana. So attaining the fourth jhana. When you have succeeded in what, when to develop the fourth jhana, you should imagine from the now familiar third jhana. Reflect that the third jhana is close to the sec second jhana, which has the close jhana fata or chai. The third jhana itself has the close uh, jhana fata or happiness, making it less. Come then the fourth jhana, which is without it. With the desire now to attain the fourth jhana, you should again concentrate on the paribhaga nimitta and attain the third jhana. When you now image Imagine from the third jhana and again review the jhana factors. The jhana factor of bliss will appear close to you. Why equanimity in one whiteness appear be full? So, in order to abandon the close factor and obtain the peaceful factors. You should again concentrate on the Prabhaka Nimitta. This way you will be able to attain the fourth jhana. Proceed to of only equanimity in one whiteness. You should then develop the five mastery of the fourth jhana. With the attainment of the fourth jhana, the breath stops completely. This completes the full state in the development of Anabanasati. So, let us start here. <laughs> huh? So, already you are full jhana. <laughs> Is it true? Theory, not practically. You need to attain the full jhana, you must practice in. Huh? Very well. Uh, two weeks sometimes can attain for jhana. I saw one, the yogi from Korean, uh, South Korea. She came to the park uh, with a, a business visa because I, her friend is uh, stay in the park. He made to the friends, he asked to the friends, friends, how to practice it? The friends said to her, oh, very easy, you pay attention here. With the mindfulness, away all the breaths. That's all, after that, the friend going to practice in the meditation hall. She let stay in the kuti. She lying down to put the hand here, yeah, meditation is focused here, away all the breaths, I will try. So she focused here, she already saw the animator. Very fast. So next day, the friend called to meet the teacher, the teacher, Panarayaji Vata, because of before I followed to him at the interview time, two years with him in lower monastery. So she reports and she went to learn how to meditate. The Panavaji Vata, Rivata, he teaching step by step. The Nimeda state. He said, Oh, Bandi, I saw already the Nimeda. <laughs> huh? Well, very fast, huh? uh, but I need to make this mind stay well. But she had parami, she saw very quickly the Nimeda, the mind not yet stay well. So we train to him, only she can stay two weeks in the pout. She attained four jana, eh? after that she can practice eh? 32 breaths 
the body is finished. She's very happy. She said, I want to practice it, but I cannot extension the pizza because of no meditation pizza. Her meditation pizza, she can extend another one year. First, you can go to three months. After that, you extension, so you can go to one year. Next time, one year again, one year again. She said, I will come back because I have one daughter. I'm there now, I never saw his come back. <laughs> So her parent me very, very good. Huh? So I saw this one person. Another one person is uh, three days. Uh, he saw the Nimeda. Light. The light is uh, going, go out, going, go out, going, go out, going out, very strong. Like the uh, stick. Huh? Also, the mind knows you stay there. We wait in to patient, please try again, please try again. So after a few days, so she, he began, the mind came, so can go up to China. We are difficult to go to Nimeta, some yogi. So your Nimeta began strong, already you are right there, top mountain. No Nimeta, so you climb up to the mountain, sometimes fall down. <laughs> You are Nimeda because strong already, you are already in the top mountain. So after that, you go down, very easy. The Chana, other Chana, also the Namaruba, divining origination, all are very, very easy. Not so difficult. Difficult is the Nimeda. <laughs> but sometimes you got the Nimeda, but for strong is a difficult. But train slowly, slowly. So after that, you become stronger. Your parami is a very strong? Okay, very fast. Sometimes all of you are, has, have the parami. All have. Sometimes a little bit far away, sometimes close. Some, because sometimes we are past previous life or past, past, past path light. We rebound the anime or we rebound the hopo state. We cannot practice it. That's why we can say that far away. So after you got the concentration, the past parami, they support to your concentration very fast. That's why don't worry. Everybody has the parami. Some they think, I'm parami, oh no. <laughs> so I say, that, oh, they ha you have to pardon me. So one day you can go. Out. So now how to practice in Anabana empty for China. So I have a discussion. So tomorrow I will teach, uh, not tomorrow, day after tomorrow, I will teach you 32 parts, the body. Do you want to see really 32 parts? I will show the slideshow, huh? so you can see. You don't like to see, so I don't need to show. <laughs> so where is the part which are days that you will understand? OK, do not let us start here. Uh, share merit. Sharing of merit. Idame Ponya Asawakaya Waham Hotu Idame Ponya Neba Nasa Pachayo Hotu Mama Ponya Bagan Saba Satanam Pachemi De Sabe May Saman Ponya Bagan Labantu Sadu Sadu Sadu